worth it! Bye, Mark! We have a MacBook Air 2020 M1 chip, and we're going to do a screen replacement for it. I'll show you that the screen's broken. It just turned on. It's not lighting up. Uh, there's actually a crack right up here in the corner. And we will uh, disconnect the battery, take off the screen, and do the whole repair. Just stay tuned and watch the video. So we'll grab out our P4, PL4 screwdriver for the back here. So we have an aftermarket screen. You unfortunately lose True Tone, but I don't think this person minds. It's actually a school, so it shouldn't matter. Uh, you can buy screens that have the True Tone with them. They're a lot more expensive. Um, they actually have Apple Care warranty, but they Apple would actually charge them about $600 for the screen replacement, and we're doing it for half that price, pretty much. I think we're doing it for $400 and um, it's a lot cheaper to repair it at a mom and pop shop repair shop. So you get the pry, metal pry tool underneath here. You can see I got it lifted up. Work my way around. Lift it up here. There we go, it just popped out. Okay, so first thing, we want to disconnect the battery. And the battery connection is right here. And um, you can let you lift the little lever here with your fingernail or plastic spudger. And it's this little thing um, right here. Lift that, and then you can disconnect the battery. So we got the battery disconnected. Let's uh, disconnect this wireless charging, or not wireless charging, a wireless antenna here for your Wi-Fi. Get the T3 screwdriver out and unscrew the connection first. Alright. And I normally use uh, straight edge uh, tweezers and go underneath the metal part of the connection and lever it off. Be really gentle. Levered it off. Get your T3 screwdriver again and disconnect the screen. So we want to remove the bracket here and actually this aftermarket screen doesn't come with these two uh, shields uh, pre-installed so we'll take those off as well um, all right take that that's a screen connection take off these Try to keep it a little organized Got these um, six T3 screwdriver um, screws unscrewed with the brackets taken off. Now get out that T5 screwdriver and just unscrew the wireless antenna. We got these two long silver screws. We'll put them up on the top here. All right. Get it from the other side, the T5 screwdriver. Get all the long screws taken out. Okay, so you want to re remove these two T5, they're black screws right here from the LCD board. I want to remove those two. Perfect. Okay, pull out the LCD board here, and you want to get out your splicer here, the metal pry tool, 
and lift up from the middle you'll hear a pop so you heard the pop you'll think that you have to take off the take the wires out of these holes but actually the whole thing comes off and you want to just pry right here with your metal pry tool try not to affect any chips on the board there's adhesive holding it down Here. Put in a wiggle. There we go, got that side off. Got that side off too. Let's see if it wants to come out. Try to grab it. LCD board it goes through the hole and you lift up the Wi-Fi antenna all right got that off now get out the T8 screwdriver and just you want to unscrew two of the T8s from the hinge here up on the top right and top left and we're actually gonna loosen the third one a little bit so it's easier when we take it off unscrew these two on the top left here we'll loosen it up here I'll tilt it up on its side and open my laptop and you want to unscrew the T screw T8 screws right here on the hinge the last one make sure you have it fully opened let me zoom out my camera here so you can get a better view I take off the screen. And it just comes off like that. Boom. Now we gotta get out the new screen. We are back. Here is the new screen. back up here and slide the hinge together here make sure you pull out the LCD board and close it on the board on there okay it's clipped in a little bit grab that T8 screwdriver I'm gonna put the screws just in the middle 
You don't have to tighten them all the way. And shut the lid. Perfect. Okay, now we can screw in the T screw, make sure they're tight. Get the T8, other T8 screws, the other two for each corner. could connect the screen and just test it right away if you wanted to, but I trust the screen will work, so I'm just going to put it all the way back together. So we want to take the Wi-Fi antenna and go through the LCD board, through it, the hole, and line up the Wi-Fi antenna here. Flip it in. We're going to get the T5 screwdriver and get those two black screws and we'll lay those down first here. Lay the LCD board down, screw those two in. Perfect. And we'll get the T5 screwdriver. Grab those long screws again. Screw down the Wi-Fi antenna. Then grab your bended tweezers and connect the Wi-Fi antenna. We'll zoom back in here. Line it up with those little notches there. Grab the bracket that goes over it. The edge side goes down on the top of it. Oops. <laughs> Grab that T3 screwdriver then. And the T3 screw. Speed this up a little bit for you. I grab the wrong screwdriver. Whoops. Should always look at them. Now we gotta grab the do the brackets here for the L C D bar.
All right, let's connect the screen. Felt pretty snug there. Let's put the bracket on. Using the T3 screwdriver. Perfect. Okay, time to test it. Let's uh, connect the battery. You want to lay it flat here. Just click in. Then lift the little metal bar, flip it down. Locked in. Alright, now we can test it. Got to plug it in. Normally when you disconnect the battery on a MacBook, it needs to be plugged in after you do the repair. I don't know why, it's just like, it's just like that. Let's turn it on, screen is on. All right, we wanna test the web camera, make sure Wi-Fi works, and then we're all set. Um, I'm just gonna test it and uh, put it back together here. Um, just put the back plate on, PL4, PL4 screwdriver and you're all set. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe or check out my channel and check out I have other videos that aren't about doing guides. Thank you.